Today, we talk about... So, welcome back. Episode, still don't know, still behind on the edits. We got a lot of these. Um, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, no, tell me about it. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself, special guest, number hey. X. Number X. My name's Matt Edwards, and uh, I want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Matt, another uh, fellow comedian along the circuit that I've met here. Um, why don't you give us a intro, like uh, when you started, where you started, how oh, you started. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I uh, I guess I I've only been doing it like a year and three months, but I worked I worked in TV for like seven years. So I was like a sports anchor and then a news reporter. So I got to do like a lot of the just talking yeah. to crowds and like we had half hour sports shows that like I would get to do a lot of ad libbing and stuff on. Um, so I kind of felt like I was probably more comfortable than most people when they start. But it's fun. But then you get into it and you realize, oh, like I feel like everyone I talk to who does stand up will be like, they thought they were going to go in there and do very well. Okay. And then you get punched in the mouth. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, like a year and four months. I started in Ohio, did it in Ohio for about six months, and now I'm here. Nice. Did you move out here for the comedy? Not necessarily. I knew it was like a perk um, after I started doing it. But uh, no, not just... I always kind of wanted to... We visited here like... Like I'm from like small town Ohio. Like, I don't think people who, like, uh, like, True Detective, when you're out and there's, like, dirt roads and stuff in season one, like, those, I live near areas very similar to Got that. It. Okay. Um, but, yeah, man, I, we visited here, and it was, like, crazy to me, and I knew that I always, at least for a period, wanted to live here in Chicago. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I feel like most Midwest yeah. people in small towns like that gravitate to Chicago much more often sure. from the Midwest. For sure. I don't know if it's because, I don't know, New York's intimidating to a lot of people. And it's not, it's like anywhere, yeah. Like, it's like <laughs> anywhere, I mean, like it's different. But like when I told people I was moving here, so many people would be like, Ooh. why would you, I would never move there. I'd be like, that's fine. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I really don't get why people think this place is so scary. It's like, I mean, there was a time, obviously, when this place yeah. was like... Ooh, I mean, I it's know. definitely overwhelming, I think, and I can understand that part yeah, of it, but sure. as far as, like, it's nothing to be scared right, of, right, you right, know. Right. How, um, how often were you getting up on stage in Ohio versus now? Because here, obviously, you have, like, 30 yeah. open mics a day. Over there, yeah. like, what, were you getting up, like, once a week? You could do, uh, like, in Columbus, so I was in Columbus, uh, like, best case scenario, you could get in, like, six or seven a week Okay. in Columbus. Now, if you want to go a little bit outside to, like, some of the suburbs and stuff, there'd be a few. Maybe you could do eight if you maybe produced a show. Maybe you could do ten. I don't know, max. But I'd say most commonly, like, if you do six, you're doing very well. Like, that's the equivalent of doing, like, 20, 25 here. Got it. So, uh, I remember being there. I just kind of started off, like, kind of for fun. Um... And it was like, uh, you know, if I could get up, getting up back to back nights, like it was a big deal. Yeah, it was like, man, I feel crisp. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but it's like here, you go back to back day, like yeah. hours. Right. So it's uh, it's cool there. From what I now, here's the thing about Ohio though. In Columbus, I mean, I probably did forty or so open mics there. There was always an audience, so I never was up at an open mic, I can think of one time that I was at an open mic that it was only comics. So you had, I remember like maybe the 10th or 15th time I went up, I was in front of like 30 legit audience members because so many of these would be at bars on Ohio State's campus and there would just be people in there. So once the mic started, it was like, all right, these people are here. Make sure the first few people on the list don't suck so that maybe they'll stick around a little bit. Right. So. Definitely, I would say a quality thing. Zach's back. Yeah. <laughs> Banging on the door. But yeah, like you could get so many, uh, you could get some quality quality reps in do there. Do you ever miss it? Do you feel like uh, you never want, do you ever go back to do mics there? I have not gone back to do mics there. Um, just because when I've been back, it's been family time. Yes, Zach, we're recording. Can't you? <laughs> it's like, oh, they must just be talking. I had like four fucking homeless guys pizza. Nice. Wow. No, like two. I felt bad for him. They were, he was on his knees begging in the fucking restaurant. And I was like, dude, I'll get you a slice. Doing God's it, work. I know, but no, it was funny because I bought him a slice and then he was like, yo, want a soda? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck. That always I happens. Him, I got him the soda. Because I, I was like, it's a dollar. I'm shit. 
That always happens to me. When I, I had one of the kids that tried to sell like the fruit snacks, yeah. and he said he was doing uh, like trying to go to a basketball camp. So I just I was like, I don't want your fruit snack. Here's a couple bucks. And he saw in my wallet I had a twenty, and I gave him like three bucks. <laughs> exactly. And he saw in my wallet I had a twenty. He's like, man, you can do a twenty. I was like, dude, come on. Like I, <laughs> I had cash in my hand, and he came up and he was like, can I get a slice of pizza for me, and my boy? I was like, nah, man. And then he was on his knees, and he was like, please. Dude, you are like, sick. Yeah. I'm grabbing my fucking. Like, excuse me, I'm grabbing the hot sauce. Oh, okay. The hot sauce. Yeah, just bring it over because I want something. I know. Um, I'm actually, the funny thing happened to me too. I was waiting for the for the subway once, and this little kid, yeah, seen, yeah <laughs> this little kid seemed cute, uh, cute as could be, comes up to me. Hey, you want to donate to his thing? I was like, nope. I just said it nicely with a smile on my face. He goes, I will mace you, you little. And I was like, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was uh, he was a black child. Um, oh, they had the good stuff. I'm gonna save mine. But right, go yeah. ahead. But yeah, so what kind of like, fancy hot Jesus. sauce is this? Uh, it's the fire water. Yo, Holy Matt, if you want to try a bite, the cheap, you should just try a bite mine. Oh, I've had this before. This is 99 cent pizza, right? Yeah, yeah. right downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only wear these because it's YouTube. People hate me. Yeah, I don't blame so them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. No, no, it's fine. I hate you too. Yeah, we all hate ourselves. That's why we're here. Hey. Um, I'm going to save this one. But yeah, like that's... I feel like the majority of the time that I've tried to help people out, they always ask for more, which is... I don't know. This they, is our goals, right? They're probably not uh, in the in the best mental state, so I feel bad for them. But I'm usually, like, come on, I'm trying, man. Yeah, I'm usually... The only time I really help people... <laughs> the only time I really help people out is like if I have like a... A job interview, or like I'm going on a flight, I'll give someone like a buck. So you're looking for karma. Yeah. So you're helping you out. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yes. Who are they looking out for? We very much. Not are. me taking my money. No, I get it. I get it very much. But yeah, it's uh, that that's a different thing, I guess. I just do it for luck. Yeah. I'm like, hey, you know, what are you gonna do? I mean, this guy was literally. Honest. I've probably done this. this. The only reason I bought this guy and his buddy a pizza and a fucking Pepsi was because they were on their knees begging, and I was like, can you yeah. just can you stop? Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, like on their knees. I've got to do that. As soon as they got their pizza and pets, though, they're like, "Yo, oh, thanks, bro." I was like, "God." Yeah. Get yeah. over here and fuck my wife. No. Well. <laughs> oh, I you're married. That yeah. That's be, yeah, I'm married. Yeah. Well. You have sure. a girlfriend? I got a few. <laughs> Ohio man over here. A real man of Ohio. <laughs> a shelter or anything? I'm good right now, man. Good? Thanks. Uh, All right, well, we were talking about Ohio and. Uh, yeah. Uh, the open mic scene, do you, do you miss it? Do you ever go back? I don't go back to do those because anytime I'm back, I'm so busy with like family stuff. But, uh, I mean, I still talk to people who do it. I've had a friend from Columbus come here and do a few with me. Um, but, yeah, like I miss real crowd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because like it was very common to have like eight to ten people uh, just uh, have a little, uh, light running up. Gag light up. Yeah. Um, Tell me more. <laughs> to have eight to ten people just, and you know, we can get eight to ten. That's not bad. That's uh, fantastic. So, yeah. way more than last night. Is, yeah, terrible. Eight to ten, is, I think, is a crowd. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like in Ohio, that was uh, common to get, at least in Columbus, to have like. Was eight. it mostly open mics in Columbus, or was it like, uh, like did you do shows? Uh, both, but I mean, for for the, I mean, the crowds would be about the same because um, you know it. Either way, they were going to be at a bar. Like I was never at an open mic in Columbus that wasn't at a bar. They're all at mm-hmm. bars, and so bars with like, but like when you're in the open mic, it's not a back room. It's like a no, of it's entrance. in the bar. Okay. Yeah, so cool. they're all in situations where it's like set up for music or whatever for performers, and then you end up uh, just being there while people are there, and some stay, some don't. It's like when we get audience here, I guess. I feel yeah, I feel like doing open mics at a bar is always more fun. In, in yeah, the city. yeah, yeah. It's like it's because uh, if you're doing an open mic, like if it's a room that's set up for that, everybody's waiting for their next turn. It's it's hard. Yeah, for sure. Because like the crowd is like like they'll like maybe be like ha, but yeah. people aren't looking. They're all on their notebooks. Yeah, they're man. like all right, thinking about like their set when they get up. It's different. It's like a uh, yeah. I mean, we talk about this like endlessly. Yeah. Well, no, it's not a competition. It's like people are just like focused on like all right, when am I going to get up? What am I going to do? I mean, I do the same thing. No, I, I do too. Yeah. I mean, not as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I try to do it too, but yeah, the same thing where like, I feel like if you do a set at a bar, like my kind of, uh, how I measure a joke and how it's going to work, if I do it at open mic and I get a couple like, ha, I'm like, this will kill at a bar. Yeah, when people yeah, are yeah. drunk, you know? Well, and that's a good thing about like having, 
if it, I always want to watch at least a few people before me to gauge what they're getting. Not to, comp- just to see, like, because I'll hear things that are good. I'll see, and you guys have seen this too, where you'll see someone have a bit that kills and then go to a room where no one's in the mood and mm-hmm. it just gets nothing. So it's nice to kind of have that gauge to see where you're at, I think. Yeah. I think what's, everyone thinks that too. What's it's fun uh, to sit on the same night too. Yeah, for I see sure. people like, because I've gone from like a mic to a mic. Yeah. And like one, at one mic, this dude was up and like killed, like mm-hmm. right the bit. And then he goes to another mic and people are like, huh. Nobody cares. That was one and he's of those, like, okay, here we go. <laughs> when I was in Columbus, like, I had a night where at an open mic, there were probably like 20 people just at the bar, and I did so well. And like, easily the best I had ever done. And uh, I was thinking, like, dude, I got this. Like, I got, I'm doing great. Next night, went up, did the exact same stuff, and just nosedive. So, yep. But you hear, I mean, you hear pros say that too. I mean, uh, yeah, it's just so. that's what makes it so hard, right. yet so satisfying sometimes, I guess, or whatever. Um, but uh, what's what's your like process? Do you do you work on like you're like all right, hey, I want to try this idea out. I'm going to try it at multiple spots today, or are you like okay, I'm going to work on this for like a week or two, and then I'll try it at maybe this spot or that spot? Like, what's your process? Jeff? No, I'll always. So for one, like I've got a list in my phone. Like I've been writing down premises. Not kidding, since like. 2012 okay. and I didn't do stand up until 2018 but I've always loved it I just because of my job I was working like till 11 o'clock at night five nights a week yep. I was never able to do it um, and I never really considered it until I was kind of in Columbus got on a different schedule and found out like oh I should try that out and then I went to a few walks and I was like oh I totally have some stuff that could work here um, Columbus is a college town too right so, yeah Ohio State's there and that's what I was telling him I don't know if you were in here yet but like all the open mics there um are pretty much on Ohio State's campus. Oh. Uh, even though I would say the majority, I would say maybe you'd have a few kids from Ohio State doing it. But so, it, I went to Ohio State. It never occurred to me that, like, I don't know. I don't think I ever really realized until I was older and working in TV and, like, came across podcasts and that sort of thing that, like, I never really understand how people got into stand-up until podcasts. It was like I didn't know how you got to start doing that. You know what I mean? It's blowing up nowadays. Yeah, for sure. It's it's getting much more popular. But so like, uh, so you went to Ohio State, uh, Columbus area, mm-hmm. and then what? You just like, did you like kind of find the open mics, or did you like start doing like where you started in like MC and kind of brought the the culture there? No, no, no. It was because I only did open mics and stand up in Columbus for about six months. Okay. Um. So yeah, it was. It's pretty well established there now that i'm here and i talk to so many people who come from other cities i realize how much it was established there compared to you know people who would have to do two mics a week and drive 45 minutes to get there that's how iowa is it's like there's one on monday in iowa city where university of iowa is that's it on a monday night that's it right then uh then there's one in cedar rapids which is about a half hour north wednesdays and that's it and actually i i forgot to ask this earlier sorry for everybody cutting in. <laughs> but uh, so you said it's mostly on the campus. So are yeah, they mostly in the dry mics? Like, like no boozing? Oh, yeah, you booze. Uh, on the campus, even? Not, I mean, they're not on campus. Okay, okay, they're so campus they're around bars, campus. Though. Campus yeah, bars. I mean, oh, okay, they're, okay, gotcha. They're surrounded. So you said on campus, that's it's like you Troy, know. you know. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't but, know how yeah. most colleges <laughs> are, I guess. Yeah, but, but, I mean, but I thought you meant like they were like a, like a, like areas that were designated by the campus. No, no, no. Okay, they so were definitely yeah. They were campus. definitely not in the quad. You know. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were definitely in areas that was mostly college students living there. Like I would say eighty, ninety percent. Okay. So and same with the bars. I mean, 75, 80 percent of the people in those bars.